And back here in Casper, the Lady T-Birds hosted Central Wyoming tonight. Casper College beat the Rustlers by 22 two months ago at home, looking for the same result tonight. And this is the only highlight you'll see all season without a made basket. That's because Casper College held Central Wyoming to just 10 points the entire first half. That's a rate of just one point every two minutes, if you can believe that. And here on offense, Jay Johnson hits Norea Baena. She almost gets the and one. She was working on finishing those yesterday at practice. She really wanted that one. And this is the Lady T-Bird grit that I'm talking about. Steal by Nazli Bayazit from Turkey. She goes all the way, takes the wild layup looking for the foul. Back the other way with Kiana Walker. But at this point, she's more like Kiana Runner. And this time it's Ulia Kuko from Poland with the steal. Up ahead to Rika Seuss from Hungary. Back to Nazli, and she's fouled. Great hustle there by the defending Region 9 champs. And how about that cultural diversity? The Lady T-Birds use that grit to beat the Lady Wrestlers 81-53. Lucy Hasgova and Maggie Justinak both had double-doubles for Casper. And Norea Baena had 23 points. And the gentlemen T-Birds and gentlemen wrestlers followed up the ladies. The newly number 10 in the nation, Casper College T-Birds on a 12-game winning streak. A big story in this game was starting small forward Brock Finston for Casper, playing against his old team. Brock started for Central Wyoming last year and averaged 12.5 points and 5.5 rebounds per game. So I asked him what it would be like to play against instead of play for the wrestlers. I don't think it's going to be really much of a big difference because they're coming in with a whole different squad. Uh, I think there's one person on the team that's coming back, and there's no a new coach. So, I mean, it'll be like a regular game. So just go out there and have fun with it. My teammates just told me go out there and ball out. And ball out is exactly what Brock did. Here he hits the seven-footer James Hampshire for the easy one. And first-year central coach Brad Schmidt has the reaction of so many T-Bird opponents this year. Of Casper's 15 wins coming into the game, Eight of them are by 30 points or more. And the headaches didn't stop for Central. They're reminded again of what they lost. Brock for three from the corner. And this is a great sign for the T-Birds. Second leading scorer, Wilfred the Guy Lakai, takes and makes his first shot since missing seven games with an ankle injury. And later in the first half, Brock leading the break. And some people like Jelly, but Zion Tordov prefers jam. Great lob from Brock. He went for 19 points, nine assists, and six rebounds against his old team. And after losing by 46 points, I don't blame Coach Smith for needing a drink. Safe to say, Casper is the cat's meow. The tiger. They've now won 13 games in a row, and they're 16-1 and one on the year. You know, I thought we were really good defensively. Um, our length and athleticism, we really have to utilize, and, and we did it tonight. I think our effort was great. It was a great way to start the conference season. We made shots. We executed well.